How's it going, everyone? Welcome back for level four, which would be the baths. I'm not sure. I think this is one of the levels that I actually sucked up on. Now we've been granted the wind belt, which allows us to pretty much knock back our enemies into pits and just away from whatever. Not much room to work with here. It's a short walk for the orcs from the gate to the rift. But those acid pits will come in handy. Yes, yeah, so basically we now have the start of some branching paths where once they get to here, they can run right or left, which will lead to some uh, more difficult situations. So we'll equip this, this, uh, this, and this, and that's about all we need. I don't really need the barrels. I don't really care about the barrels too much. I never really used them. Never really had, uh, had a difficult time without using them, but the wind... Dealey will pretty much knock them into the pits of acid, which is good. It'll take a little bit of your mana, but all is well. It really does not matter. So, I think I'll uh, put some spikes, put some tar, and then I'll put uh, some stuff over here. We'll get a little bit more tar. We'll kind of uh, set it up for the round after, and uh, we'll see how this goes. This might be the, the first area where I begin to muck up a little bit so please forgive me I'm not a master at this this game is being structured a little bit differently than normal simply because uh, as we can see there the acid pit comes in handy I'm not sure how far it blows them away but it blows them far enough where uh, they could get knocked into some acid but this game is being structured a little bit differently than the norm it is in more of a legit walkthrough type format where it's being split up based on level. And I actually do know a little bit of what I'm talking about as opposed to something that's blind because I was sitting in the call for for quite a while just, just kind of playing, which is cool. I'm sure some people will be very mad, bro, that I know what I'm doing. And I'm sure some people will find it better, which it really doesn't matter. So now we'll kind of fill in this a little bit. This will hurt. There we go. Now I just need another one, another couple of these wall mounts, and we're good. But uh, people always complain, you know. Oh, how come you don't know what you're doing? Blah blah blah. Oh, I like it better when you play blind. Blah blah blah. You see, so it's. I mean, no matter what, not everyone's gonna be happy, right? Not everyone's gonna be happy, and these guys just got kind of pushed into the wall. You just kind of pepper them with their little little crossbow bolts. Works for me. And then we can always do the strafe technique, which I like lots. I like that strafe technique. I don't really use the wind charm or the wind amulet or whatever the fuck it's called a lot either. Either, if I can speak correctly. Later on, I use uh, some other stuff. And I, I do believe they have a little bit of protection beyond this, but it's not all the way back. See, this guy's not getting hurt now, but now he's getting hurt, so... I mean, a little bit before they come out... They start to uh, Ooh, here's a good one. they start to die, but they're not really getting to this point anyway, where they're gonna get slowed down and hit by the traps again. So it's it's cool. We've got six rounds. Like I said, the videos are gonna start getting a little bit longer um, until the point where they actually get to be like 15, 20 minutes each. So I'm sure people are gonna bitch about the first couple of videos being not very long, and that I'm a money grubbing whore and I'm just doing it for money, not realizing that the later videos are going to be 15, 20, 30 minutes each, which on average my videos tend to be about 11 or 12, or probably 11 to 13 minutes long, some 15 minute one, ones peppered in there, so you always get those people, the people who will call you a sellout for no, for anything, people who call you money grubbing whore for anything, I mean fuck, I could donate to charity and people will still say, oh you're just doing it for, pu for publicity. So you can get more money, little whore. You know, stuff like that. But, it's okay. I've got real cool fans elsewhere. You can put a couple more spike strips to kind of reinforce that. But, other than that, it's not much to do. They're not really getting very far. So, you can put a couple more of these down and we're good to go. We'll wait for them to come out. Get a couple headshots before... Before they start going anywhere, really. As you can see him come out now and get hit by the spike. So, a little bit of strategy into this game. It's not too hard to to point, place some some stuff down. 
Uh, like they were hinting at it in the beginning, the uh, the wind charm was going to be a little bit useful here, a little bit more useful because you could kind of blow them into the pits, but it's not really necessary. I mean, it might help a little bit, but I've been getting along just fine without using it really at all. I mean, half the time I'm blowing them into the pillar when I'm trying to use it, so, you know, it's whatever. It really is. Here it might be a little bit more useful, like right there. That was a little bit more useful. Other than that, it's it's not too great. Not from my experience. Later on, you get like a frost charm and a and a fire one, and those are, I believe, to be leagues better than the stupid wind one. It's all personal preference, opinion. You know, I'm sure there are some people who who would really love it and swear by it. However, I do not. And look at this guy. What the hell you think you were doing? Put some more spike ones down. Who cares? Another one of those. Another one of those. Pretty much get everything just kind of piled up at the gate here. Which works for me. It works just fine for me. I don't even know what this thing's... Uh, it doesn't have a, an alt fire. That's cool. Later on you can also buy something that's sort of similar to a perk for your traps. You can kind of level them up a little bit so that they do more damage, they cause bleed out damage, uh, they they reset a little bit quicker, and I better run and get some health before I end up dying. I think the traps are are good enough that it'll it'll slow them down for me to just run up and heal. Like they haven't even gotten past this yet, so we're good. If you're a little bit careless, the the archers will fuck your day up. It's not so good, but you know, no harm, no foul, really. No harm, no foul. Can't buy another spike one. Bummer. Is this the last round? This is the last round. Maybe I'll buy another one once I get enough money here, if I get enough money. Damn protection bullshit. Using a controller makes me a little bit less accurate, but I'm a lot more comfortable using a controller than a, than a keyboard and mouse. Which is why I opt to do it, and uh, I can buy a spike one now. Maybe not be the smartest thing, but hey, it all helps, right? I wish someone would drop some health right about now. That would be cool, since I'm running about half health. I could run back and let all the traps do everything, but hey, who the hell cares, you know? Might as well sit here, defend my honor, have fun, do all the stuff that makes me me. Fuck up some more stays, right? But uh, if you like tower defenses... And you like just time wasting fun. This this would be the game for you. Oh look, one guy almost got past and then got fucked up by the wall of arrows. Well I'll be damned. That'll pretty much wrap up level four. Which was what? What was level four? At least I'm pretty sure this was level four. What was level four uh, four called again? The baths? Yep, the baths. There you go. 34, 195. We'll continue on to level five in a little bit.